It's a lot about Facebook and Twitter and other social media sites is about businesses, you know, adding value into the conversation, adding value to the types of activity that is already happening naturally there. So if we assume that consumers, your constituents, your customers are the ones that drive all the trends and behaviors and opportunity on social, then looking at the types of things that they're doing and figuring out a way to not just advertise around those activities, but really uh, get involved in those activities and add value, make, make those activities more enriching uh, and more interesting and more entertaining and more useful uh, to your constituents is the way, you know, is the best way to get involved and in, in, to get engaged. So for example, we worked with um, a number of Different entertainers over uh, over the life of Involver, and you know, rather than trying to sell their their uh, their tracks and uh, and do sort of a microtransaction type of monetization model on Facebook, they would use Facebook as a way of giving out you know um, sort of video trailers or uh, snippets of songs or even kind of complete full songs that would generate demand and that would you know be linked back to you know, their iTunes page or some other landing page or some other type of experience where a transaction could, act, could actually happen. Or in some cases, you know, just capturing, uh, you know, a lead. So for example, I remember we launched Alicia Keys's um, big album in the winter a couple of years ago, where she gave uh, all her tracks away uh, streaming on her Facebook page only to her fans. Uh, and if you wanted to, you know, listen to all of the tracks, you had to you had to be a fan, and then I think for specific tracks, you actually you actually had to fill out a little bit more information. Uh, but in exchange for that information, then you could listen to the entire the entire album for for free for a period of time, and it was hugely popular, like millions and millions of listens. But um, you know, not only did they use that as a way of selling more albums and more tracks, but then they you know for the people that weren't quite ready to buy, uh, or maybe not ready to buy at all. Uh, that that album, maybe they didn't even like the tracks or whatever. They were at least able to to capture some information about them, and develop a relationship and a communication opportunity. So that over time they were able to continually, you know, push out um, or interact with different content or messages or questions or whatever, and you know, monetize over time. And uh, so they really had a much longer term view of how to get value out of their community. And I think that most successful businesses will think about social not as a transactional thing, as I've said, but more as an opportunity to develop uh, a long-term relationship with your customers in a way that you know, hasn't really been possible for a lot of businesses. There's um, a great example with Nike, for example, a company that you know everyone knows is everywhere, has their shoes in every kind of major retail uh, outlet that you can imagine, but you know distributes almost entirely through you know intermediaries, right, through other uh, third parties and. They have no idea who their end customer actually is who's buying the shoes because they've never actually had a chance to interact with them. And what they use their Facebook page for is not to sell product because that's already being taken care of through the retail uh, channels that they have, but to establish a relationship with, their, um, with the people who are buying the product for the first time because, because again, it's, it's uh, places like Facebook and Twitter give them a chance to do this. And then they use those relationships you know, over time to... Gener you know, create a conversation, generate not just demand, uh, which they're able to do by you know pushing out new um, uh, new launches uh, periodically, but also you know to survey people and ask them what are they actually interested in, and then they use that survey information uh, into their product development system to build more you know relevant uh, shoes, right, and other products or whatever, and and they and that you know presumably helps them sell you know more more uh, more product and makes them more successful and and hits their bottom line and and you know makes them more profitable so i think there's a lot of different ways of thinking about uh, engaging with facebook and 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 twitter and other social media sites but the key thing is to understand the way in which people your community wants to interact with you and then you know uh, sort of enabling that interaction and, and really adding value into the activities they're already doing there Thank you.